Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lily and today's video is going to be really exciting but also kind of messy because I'm going to be doing a closet purge slash organization situation. Um, this weekend is very exciting because my boyfriend is actually moving in with me which I'm super excited about but also kind of nervous because of space. And by space, I mean my closet. Um, so we're going to try and make some space for the boy, for the man. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the current state. And then that way, I can show you guys the reveal after all this organization. So let me show you. Okay, guys. So as soon as you walk in, I have all of my shirts over here. And then back here, I have dresses. Over here, I have skirts. And then... This whole rack is outerwear. I live in LA, like it doesn't even get that cold, but for some reason I think I need that many jackets because I'm obsessed with layering. Um, and then at the top, I just have some accessories on this side. And then over here, I have my bottoms kind of color coded, um, but anyway, yeah. And then down here, I have my shoes, which obviously needs some organization, more shoes. I'm actually gonna be selling and getting rid of some shoes my laundry basket and honestly like what i'm actually pretty embarrassed to show you guys that but and then back here i have more bags i have so many bags so definitely need to clean this space out to make some room for him so that is going to be the goal today so let's get to it okay guys i'm going to get started with black shirts because that's just what i have first literally go on my lawn if i want it don't want it this one is so cute but it's kind of old and the little buttons pop off but i really like it i just don't wear it enough um we're gonna keep it because it brings me joy so i'm having this issue with white stuff and it's just like not even old but it's becoming yellow so i need to like throw them in the wash with clorox maybe i don't know this i thrifted so cute love a good sweatshirt so that was it for my shirts i think that is my pile of keeps and that is my oh look that is my ratchet tripod situation but these are the ones that i'm going to get rid of so 10 of getting rid of wow i'm really over the horizontal stripes look at this one two three four i don't wear stripes next up is dresses and little leotards and whatnot so let's get to those this dress so cute i actually haven't shot this like a good picture you know so i need to do that this one is just like a good one to wear not really to shoot but i'll keep that this one i shot you saw this how cute okay i just thrifted this dress with a tag on last time i went to the thrift store with this set that i'm wearing it's a like brand new calvin klein little mini dress it was so cute okay this i got for is that the tag i don't remember how much i got it for at a thrift store literally with the tag it's brand new uh bandage dress but it has this like cover up here and i hate it because i want to show cleavage if i'm wearing bandage you know what i mean so I think I'm gonna actually sell it. I'll probably get more back out of it than, than keeping it. Ooh, this is a good one. I wore this to Coachella. <laughs> I kind of love it and I feel like I need to keep it for another, another time. When? I don't know, but 
I shall keep it. Ooh, this too I wore to Coachella. I like it. You never know. You never know what you're gonna use a little weird piece for, you know? Okay. Oh, this is the Gigi Hadid dress, 2016, I wanna say. I love this part, but then it has double slit in the front, which is, I've never worn this dress. I've been wanting to wear it. It literally has the tag. It was $34.99 but I just haven't had an event to wear such a like sexy, crazy dress. Ooh, this piece, I love this piece. I get compliments on it every single time I wear it. It's from Nasty Gal, super adorable um, jumpsuit. And this was my very first House of CB dress. Gorge. Cute little Reformation dress that I haven't shot. I feel like I could have done a better job at getting rid of more things, but... <sighs> okay, I have these beautiful mango pants I just don't fit in them and it's so sad but these are literally fire I believe it's genuine leather thrifted of course but I just wish they fit me. I'm not gonna lie guys this closet organization situation is taking way longer way longer than I thought it would okay guys for shoes I'm kind of gonna go just the ones that I know for sure that I'm gonna be getting rid of and I'll show you guys okay two pairs I know I'm getting rid of for sure is these bad boys they were really fun back then but now as I'm elevating my style I don't really want clear shoes also they get really um they need to be dusted off but they get really sweaty and it's not fun to wear so that and then also these are really cute ones. These are actually really cute, but I just don't see myself wearing them. They're actually Michael Kors from when I used to work there. And I've been holding on to them for a very long time because I'm like, I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna find something. And I just, I haven't. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them go at this point. I found these shoes in the very back of my closet. I forgot I even had them. I got these uh, from Michael Kors when I worked there and they're kind of phenomenal, kind of like where do you even wear a shoe like this? What do you even wear with it? I don't know, but I think I'm going to keep them because they're super weird and I kind of love them and I need more silver in my life so I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Keep an eye out on my Instagram see if see if I find out how to wear these, especially right now in the fall, like I'm kind of excited. I just found an eyelash on the ground and I had to check if my current one just came off. This, this is what happens when you own your own eyelash brand. Do you guys remember how clean and beautiful my room was the last video? This is insane. This was all in my closet and we're getting there, almost there. Short break to order some food. What am I craving? I don't even know what I want. <sighs> should I just go with Mexican food because I know I love it? Or should I like... Ooh. Me and my boyfriend get really good curry. Ooh, or should I get Mediterranean? Some of these shoes, guys, I don't even know where I got. Why I have them. They gotta go. They've got to go. Oh, okay. So I'm also getting rid of these little suede ones. They just don't spark joy for me anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna take all the shoes down and then.
Look at this madness. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, after a tornado of clothes and shoes, I'm finally at a stopping point. I don't think it's perfect and I don't think I made enough room for my boyfriend to move in, but at least everything has a spot, everything is clean. As you can see, the lighting is a little darker because it's literally dark outside. I've just been going at it. Um, so the finished product is I was able to take out 60 pieces out of my closet that I'm gonna be taking to either Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, and then whatever they don't take, I'm just donating it, um, and eight pairs of shoes. So I feel like I did a pretty good job at like cleaning out. Uh, I know I'm gonna miss some of these pieces. I don't know if you're like me, sometimes I'm like looking through old pictures and you're like, oh my God, where'd that top go? That's probably because he got rid of it at one point and this is what's happening. I'm gonna miss some of these pieces, but I know that they've been in my closet for so long and I haven't worn them, so it's just an injustice to the piece of clothing. Um, like I said, a lot of it was thrifted anyway, so I'm just gonna take it back. Some of these pieces were actually samples or I got from a sample sale. I just don't, um, I just don't wear anymore. So anyway, this is the pile of donation slash selling. Um, not gonna lie, some of the stuff I already had put away like to the side, but this is all like the newer stuff that I just took out alongside with some shoes that are really cute. This is the finished product. So now I have my little um, haven't worn a uh, need to shoot situation over here. Then I have my tops, they're color coded. So black, white, gray, and then into the colors. And then we have my dresses in the back here. These are not really color coded. They're more like if I wear them or not and how often I wear them. Some of my skirts are in here. And then over here is my outerwear. It's very exciting. At the top here, I have my knits just folded there. Some of my bottoms, more colored bottoms. Black legging type bottoms. And then these are like black jeans. Blue jeans and white wash jeans all there. And then like you've seen before, I have some accessories up here that didn't change at all actually. Um, and then I just kind of organized back here my bags and my like my weekenders, scarf, little crossbodies, belts, and yeah. And then in here in this bag, I just have things that I need to take dry cleaning. So that's there. And then of course, I have a whole box of hangers just waiting there. Um, my little stool thing to like go up and then obviously my dirty clothes hamper some hoodies and yeah guys that's it we did good we did good everything over here is just like a hot ass disaster that I will get to because I need to get rid of everything. So yeah guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me um, through that closet organization, um, decluttering, and just getting rid of some things. I know some of us like to do spring cleaning. I like to do fall cleaning because fall is my favorite, favorite season to dress for. So now I'm a little like more excited to style some looks and I get to see all my pieces now that I've like gone through everything. You know what I mean? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Bye guys.